Romulan Montessori Academy made history on October 16, 2012 by recognizing World Hunger Day in a way never before seen in the United States. This Bloomington, Minnesota Learning Center was the first school in the U.S. to join 42 other countries and more than 20,000 students by participating in the Save the Children World Marathon Challenge. For the marathon relay, each child will run 200 meters, which is one circuit around the, on the lap, and then they hand the baton to the next person. It goes boy, girl, boy, girl, and they will continue until they've run 210 laps, which is a full marathon of 26.2 miles. The students had big dreams, hoping to beat the world record marathon time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 38 seconds, held by Kenya's Patrick Macau. And before students took to the track, they got an opportunity to video chat with Macau live from Kenya. Bloomington Mayor Jean Winstead also put into perspective how this event ties into not only citywide goals, but also has effects on a global level. Here in Bloomington, we've had an initiative out there. It's called Do Town. It's regarding healthy living, healthy eating, trying to keep people active and going. And look at this event. It just so ties into it. But what makes it so special, and I hope you kids, and I think you do understand it, is that this is an international event. And you're being uh, connected to and you're going to be related to all the different runners all the way around the world. First, a 1,500-meter relay race consisting of four teams of younger students took place. This mini-marathon allowed children interested in competing a chance to get involved while still working toward the same hunger and malnutrition awareness goals as the older kids. Kinsey says all the students, however, took efforts for the cause a bit further than just showing up that day and running, starting the day the school decided to participate. You should have seen them at lunch. Many of them were, would, they would eat all their food, they did not complain about their food, and they started to, oh, we need to save, you know, we need to do other things. And then the kids came up with the fact that they wanted to raise the money. They didn't want to just run for the, and bring awareness. They said, we need to send them some money. On your marks, get set, go! go! After the 200 meter lap, the students passed the baton off to their classmate and cheered on runners until their next turn. Each student ran a lap approximately every 15 minutes, and as a group, 26.2 miles ended up being about 210 laps. And even as kids seemed tired toward the end of their sprint, the support from spectators kept them going. Joining students, parents, and teachers, Minnesota Vikings linebacker Jasper Brinkley was on hand with cheerleaders and Victor the Viking, along with so many others. We want the kids to go through and not only help locally, because that's part of our thing, we need to help globally. And so us as the city of Bloomington, we need to look at that too. There's kids hungry in Bloomington, so we're running a food drive, but hey, well, there's kids everywhere. So as Bloomington can work together to work with the entire world. Students at Romulan Monastery Academy ran their hearts out, but they did not break Patrick McCow's world record time. They finished in two hours, 37 minutes, and 45 seconds. But being the only team in the USA, right here in Bloomington, Minnesota, they've set an American record and learned a lasting lesson about childhood hunger and malnutrition.